so thank you very much, everyone, for joining uh, today. Um, really good to see a lot of attendees at the moment. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, today's webinar on the JIRA integration uh, with our partners, Expertise, who are on the call. Um, we we'll just kind of wait for maybe a couple of minutes just to allow um, uh, some more people to come through before we get started. Um, so yeah, so again, thank you very much uh, for joining today. Um, today's webinar is around the Jira integration with um, Expertise who are based in Germany. Uh, we'll do a round of introductions uh, very, very shortly. Um, but just to get started, uh, so my name is Tuan Vu. I'll, I am a service management architect um, here at For Me, uh, and I'll be moderating and hosting uh, this webinar, and we'll be asking Expertise uh, some questions. If at any point um, you do have any uh, questions for the uh, for the team, then do please, of course, by all means, uh, put them in the uh, in the chat or the Q and A uh, section. And of course, we'll do our best to answer those questions. Um, they will be uh, that this will be taking place at the end of the webinar. Um, so please, uh, if you do have any questions in the meantime, you can ask them straight away, um, and then we'll get to them towards the end of the webinar. Um, if there are any sort of audio or um, sort of visual uh, issues that you are having, uh, please also let us know and we'll see what we can do. Um, but without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. Um, so yeah, hi everyone, thank you very much again for joining uh, and to those who have just joined us, thank you uh, for taking part. Um, so again, just to quickly introduce myself, my name is Tuan, uh, I'm a service management architect here at For Me. Um, and we have uh, both of our co uh, uh, colleagues at our partner expertise here on the call. So just very, very quickly uh, and briefly, just, uh, you know, who is for me? Um, so of course, if you don't know us, um, so for me is uh, a platform uh, that provides uh, and combines ITSM um, and ESM uh, and SIAM capabilities uh, as well. So and essentially we are enabling all internal departments such as IT, HR, facilities and beyond, uh, as well as any external managed service providers or third party vendors um, to collaborate a little bit more securely and seamlessly all in one complete platform. Um, we help enterprises to optimize um, you know, the service quality and cut service costs um, through the implementation of a very service centric approach. Um, and thanks to you know, our unique architecture, um, we're built to support any organization uh, and optimize your service management processes in line with best practice, whatever your requirements may be. Um, so on our licensing model is also completely flexible and it is usage-based. So you only pay for what you use when you need it. So if you have any questions about for me, then do feel free to get in touch uh, and then we can answer those questions as well. So I have my two colleagues, Adrian Colvin-Smith and Rico Locke on the call from Expertise. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, thank you for the introduction, Tuan. Um, uh, good morning, good afternoon, probably also good evening uh, to everyone. Um, my name is Adrian Colvin-Smith and uh, I look after the account and partner management at Expertise. Um, a quick thank you for everyone taking the time today to have a look at our uh, For Me Jira integration app, um, which will be the first in a series of integration apps um, that will be uh, that we will be making available uh, on the For Me App Store uh, over the coming uh, months. Um, perhaps um, just a few words as to who we are, what we do, and what we stand for. Um, we're based uh, in Frankfurt um, and we have a team of um, ITSM and for me experts, uh, which are spread out over several hubs in Germany. Uh, we've just celebrated uh, our 11th anniversary. And um, on that note, I actually noticed while we were preparing for the uh, webinar this morning that on our website, it still sell sells us as a young and dynamic team. <laughs> Um, and I think in fairness, after 11 years, we probably need to upgrade that uh, and update that to maybe an experienced uh, and dynamic uh, team. Um, but our main focus as a business has always been on ITSM and uh, ESM consultancy, uh, project implementation, uh, and of course, a lot of uh, integration work. Um, our philosophy, very similar to, to For Me, is to keep things pragmatic. Uh, straightforward uh, and simple. Um, and one of our key values is that we're like really invested 
in, in building sort of long-term relationships uh, with um, and partnerships with the people we do business with and uh, of course the people uh, that we work with. Rico, do you may, may want to briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, a little bit shortly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Rico Lock. Uh, I'm IT consultant at Expertise. And yeah, I assist our new, for me, clients during the onboarding process. And I also take care of our customer concerns after her launch. Uh, launch. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I will later show you today how to set up our Jira integration app in for me in a quickly and easily way. And based on this configuration, I will show you a short demo like to work with this integration. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Rico. Um, so just a question to expertise then. Um, why did you choose uh, for me actually? Uh, good question. Um, I've been told to keep it short, so I'll try and keep it short. <laughs> Um, we, we had, um, up until about three years ago, been um, partnering with um, several, I'm going to say, traditional ITSM vendors. Um, and, um, you know, we were so impressed by sort of Formi's unique take on ESM and CM, you know, just going back three years ago, um, which I'm sure everybody uh, in the webinar is, is aware of, um, that we actually decided as a company to, to switch our focus um, entirely and exclusively to Formi. Uh, which means that sort of three years down the road, um, our daily business is now just for me. So that's that's our entire focus. Perfect. Cool. Thanks a lot for that. Um, it's always interesting to hear from from our partners. You know why they chose to work with for me. Uh, sort of you know what value it's brought, um, not just to them but also you know their customers and also the wider uh, the wider community uh, as well. Um, so actually, I, I have a couple of uh, questions that I want to kind of ask you based around the Jira integration more specifically. Um, and I had a look at, you know, how it's worked, et cetera. And, and I'm curious about a, a couple of things. One of them is, you know, why did you build this integration? Um, yeah, good, good question. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, uh, and I'll try to keep it short, um, and very honest answer is um, that it, it really kind of arose and came out of conversations that we were having uh, with our customers, with our For Me customers. Um, and sort of a lot of customers were saying that the, the I'm going to say, old school approach to integration projects um, was, you know, too complex. Um, it was too time consuming, you know, with workshop days and implementation and then sort of tweaking the implementation and, and, and. Um, uh, which could, you know, easily lead to integrations of 5, 10, 15, 20, you know, even 20 plus days, um, which meant that, you know, the integrations um, were getting very sort of expensive. Um, and I remember we had one standout conversation with a customer who was just like, um, you know, it's been really quick and fast and easy to implement for me. You know, why is it taking a similar, you know, or the same amount of effort to get the, the integration work um, done? And that kind of, that got us thinking, um, you know, and uh, asking how can we kind of go about solving that issue? Um, and we had several conversations uh, with, uh, for me, uh, towards the end of last year. And um, what was really great is, um, to you and, and, and the for me team, you kind of, you, you were challenging us to sort of go away and solve the problem, you know? Um, and, um, you know, there, there was that kind of message, go away, solve the problem, come back to us to get the seal of approval. Um, and, and we did, you know, and that was the, or rather the result of that was the, the integration app. And is there anything, um, is there anything special about it that you've come across that you've noticed? Uh, special, uh, <laughs> good question. I think our target was um, to deliver like a genuine plug and play integration app that that was, you know, that was our target. And we feel that we've achieved that to 100%. Um, I think what makes the integration so special is um, that we've made it really easy and simple for, for anyone wanting to integrate these two systems to go and do that. You know, it's like the, the Nike slogan, just do it. It, it really is. And that easy um, and I, I think um, it means that you know on um, or firstly uh, you know you can set up the integration within minutes you know which which is new um, secondly there's no coding required thirdly you don't need to necessarily know your way around Jira or for me 
And fourthly, you know, there are no workshop days, there's no implementation, there's, there's simply no consulting, you know, there's no cost related to consulting. Um, so it just works off the bat, you know, and um, Rico will show us um, exactly how it works off the bat. I'm a, I'm a fan of references and analogies, so a good job on the Nike uh, slogan there. I love that. Um, and I mean, you have, I'm surely you already have integrated this with uh, various uh, customers already. Yeah. Is there a sort of or a use case that you have uh, already? Because you'll know best, um, you know, how it's being used and who it's being used by. Yeah. Do you have like such a use case that, you know, can be relatable for the audience? Yeah, we, we were looking at, at, at two or three cases, but we've got one um, really good case, which I think is maybe uh, typical, um, so is, is a good example, um, and that is a, a company called Volantec, based in Germany. Uh, Volantec provide a consultancy service in digital strategy to uh, companies such as uh, Lufthansa and Swarovski, you know, as fairly sort of um, high level stuff. And um, Volantec implemented the Formi um, Zero app um, so which was um, replacing a, a kind of a manual email telephone communication between several different teams within their business. Um, and, you know, a large part of their communication was, was sort of fairly lopsided and only happening in the, the Jira environment, but not in the for me environment. Yeah. Um, you know, there was no automated communication going back and forth. Um, there were no attachments being transferred, no updates. Um, and they sort of had a, a big issue with um, the same ticket being created multiple times or in parallel in, in the two systems. Um, and, you know, they were just spending um, and burning a lot of time um, just keeping the communication between yeah. the teams upright. Um, and I think we went in there and we set up the Jira app, uh, Rico, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, uh, I think we were in there for like maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, the teams at Volantic were given a heads up, you know, were given, um, you know, just, just training on, on the integration itself um, and they were off, um, you know, which has meant that sort of nothing gets lost anymore. Um, there are no double tickets, both teams or all teams know what they're doing. Um, and another factor which was important um, was it's all auditable. So, um, you know, using Formula reporting, they can now report on, on their tickets. Um, so. Um, you know, it, it didn't cost 10 days, it didn't cost $10,000, um, it's, it fixed the problem and, you know, it was an easy fix. Um, and, and that's kind of typical of, of what the, the integration um, has, has brought in value uh, to our customers. That sounds, that sounds really good. I can definitely see a lot of value um, in this and definitely in terms of, you know, getting your processes and collaboration, especially between the two systems and the teams working yeah. on those two systems. Uh, to be a little bit more efficient. Yeah. Um, now you mentioned um, a bit earlier that you know that this was made to be plug and play. It's it's, it's how you've basically solved the solution of you know long integrations and having to build that. I yeah. think now what the audience is very keen to to see is how easy it is to get this set up. Yeah. So um, I mean, without further ado, Rico, would you be able to show us a demonstration of how this works? Um, you should be able to uh, share your screen if, uh, if you can. Yeah. So I need the right from your side and then I can share my screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. One second. Um, yeah, you should be able to. Not now because your screen sharing blocks me. Yeah. Now it's fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope now. My app store and for me is now visible for all. Yeah. So fantastic. So yeah, in the app store of for me, each for me customer can find our app at the first position. It's fantastic. <laughs> and yeah, the easiest way, like uh, at an app store app, is uh, click on add. And yeah, we have built. Uh, and yeah, several configuration steps in this app store, uh, app setup. Yeah, to place all settings as centrally as possible to make the configuration easy and fast. Yeah, uh, in this uh, demonstration, we show you the configuration of the freemium 
And we have also a premium model. Um, we can talk later shortly more to this. Yeah, installation steps very fast. Uh, we select the installation type. Uh, currently in premium is only the cloud version possible. We add the information from the Jira account, um, the Jira user, which we use to communicate between for me and Jira system. Um, in the premium, the bidirectionally functionality is not possible, but in premium it's yeah activatable and you can more makes to do here. Um, yeah, in premium, you have also the possibility in the project mapping based from the class type in for me request or task. In our example, we make a request. Um, our integration works on request based on the selection of a special service instance. And yeah, to work fine with the Jira project, you need to define the Jira project ID key. In my case, it's IQ. And you must type your Jira issue type. We can use all issue types, um, all custom modifiable issue types are possible. And yeah, with premium, you have the ability to add more project mappings. Here we have only one. And you can decide if you want to create, add comments and status update events to send to Jira. And yeah, in premium is also possible to add an auto translator who translates the system messages and all notes which are sent to Jira in your language you need. And the last steps should be uh, any modifying of our system matches, messages in for me or in Jira. We have also the add in the placeholder possibility. And yeah, so each customer can modify how it's easiest for him. Yeah, just click on save. The integration is saved, all is fine. And yeah, I create one ticket. Um, I have here only one service. I have an enhancement request. I want a new for me app for Azure DevOps, for example. And yeah, I write a short note inside here. And I want a special look and feel um, like our Jira integration. I have here one image made from my screen. I added like an inline image. I select in my case here a child service instance that not each uh, customer or user can um, create a ticket which sent automatically to Jira. In our case, it's with a child service instance. So I select our IT and development, save the ticket, wait one, two, three seconds. And I get the feedback from our app. I click on the link. I'm on Jira. I see my information here. I see my image and the node form for me with integration with a link back to for me. So each node, which I add now here, or status update, for example, set in progress, save. And we wait and we here get the status update inside this node. Yeah, so you can see we set was very fast. We have set it up and we have created a ticket in a few minutes. So, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if the uh, the audience had actually kind of kept count of the clock there, but that actually only took five minutes to <laughs> integrate, provided of course you have all the uh, the information that you have right next to you to input into the uh, the connector. 
but that literally only took roughly around five minutes to set up that integration and do a test at the same time just to make okay. sure it's all working um yeah. so that's that's really really cool um so thanks a lot rico is there any more demo or is that pretty much it that you have the pause time okay uh, yeah. i think no <laughs> perfect <laughs> so um we actually uh have a couple of questions uh from the audience so welcome to question time um so the first one um that i'm going to ask is um if you make a change to a custom field in jira mm -hmm. do you need to remap that in for me yeah that would be necessary yeah okay and how much of that uh, how much of that integration is actually customizable? And does that need to be done by yourself or can it be done by, uh, by whoever's using it? Um, so currently you have the options that are available in the setup menu. So it's limited to, to those options. Um, but um, if you um, look at then the automation rules in for me and also in Jira, you can get very creative using those without having to invest much time and effort. Um, but I mean, if anybody has, um, you know, an idea or uh, um, maybe um, uh, a requirement that, you know, we, we currently don't have in the app, um, you know, we're sort of more than happy to talk to them um, about what we're always happy to borrow ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, so, you know, if, uh, if anyone does have um, any sort of feedback after using the Jira integration, it's just best to just get in touch with you guys and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have a look into it. Yeah, right? I mean, being, being very honest, um, a lot of our best ideas have come from our customers, um, have, have come from sort of trialing um, uh, the, 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 uh, the app um, with our customers. Um, and um, I'm, I'm going to say it's a 50-50, I'm going to be honest, a 50-50 split, um, but I reckon 50% of, of the ideas um, have definitely come from customers just saying, look, we need this, why don't you guys do this a little bit differently? Um, and we're kind of living the, the for me philosophy in that way a little bit um, in that, you know, we're happy to take that on board um, and kind of then um, it, it won't all be, you know, um, delivered within, um, you know, weeks, but it's yep. certainly something that, you know, uh, if, if it makes sense, uh, we'll certainly put it into the app. Yep. Um, we have another question, which is, uh, so updates in Jira are not transmitted to for me in the freemium version. Um, I remember, Rico, uh, when you, in the demo that you showed us, there was an option uh, to activate a bi-directional uh, link to Jira if you are on premium, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So we only send with freemium for, for me to Jira and in bi-directionally it's only for premium. And then you can send attachments, inline images and notes. Okay. Another question is DevOps on the roadmap. Yes. Um, it's currently in development and testing, and yeah, we hope we can yeah, make it uh, public in the next weeks. <laughs> um, another one, what is the ideal account structure you suggest using for this integration? Um, yeah, the account structure, ideal, uh, you can instance this for me app only in one account. It's not over more for me accounts if you have multiple support accounts, for example. So it's only like each for me app in one account and it's, it's installed. Um, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I remember rightly as well, um... If you, because uh, you, you you had an option there to create a link with um, the requests and tasks, do you have to create two separate connectors if you want to use both of them? Um, if you want to use both and you can only use uh, premium functionalities and you can add more mappings to one project with requests and tasks, uh, or you might make multiple project mapping. Yeah. And I think if you um, if you do have a bi-directional link, which is only available with the, the premium version, um, if you, of course, create a add a comment or update the status of that um, in Jira, you should be able to see that reflected in for me as well. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, is that the same for internal notes as well? Um, internal notes, um, it's uh, API, which we use a little bit strange <laughs> so uh, we 
send all nodes from Jira to uh, for me and for me to Jira. So from the API, it's not different which information would be sent and the internal informations are only for supporters. So we think it's okay. And um, are there any specific uh, additional features or capabilities that come with the premium version? Um, or is it yeah. just that bi-directional link? Yeah, bi-directional is a, is a big point. Uh, multiple project mappings uh, and yes, yeah, the translations. So I think- Anna, and then do you have um, do you have like any documentation or uh, like a, a, a page that people could go to 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 see what these what these functionalities and capabilities are, um, or would it be best to just get in touch with yourselves? Um, yeah, always happy to to talk to anybody interested in the app. Um, there's uh, the website. Um, there's information in English and German, um, and we're actually compiling um, a kind of a small information pack at the moment. Um, so um, we'll be uh, happy to, to provide that as well. Um, so another question, uh, we've got, we're getting a lot of questions, so a lot of people are interested in this. <laughs> good. Um, we won't be able to go through all of the questions, so if there are any that we haven't answered, uh, I will pass them to the team and then they can get back in touch uh, with you as well. Um, cool, so um, you can only map one JIRA project and one request type, is that correct? So I think in your in the demo, um, you uh, chose a obviously the one request type rather than so you could choose request or task, yeah. um, and but there was also a Jira um, was it the Jira type as well? Is that correct? Jira type, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, for each mapping, it's only possible uh, one request, for example, to one uh, issue type, but you can create also. And, and next mapping also from a request with another um, service instance and to another issue type that's possible yeah okay and um is it possible to transfer requests from for me to jira by placing a for me request into a team as opposed to having a service instance or do you need to have a service instance um this um functionality is added in the task work. Uh, so if you select for me task, not request, then uh, it's based on teams because service instances are not yeah, possible for, for API. So we have decided here to work with teams, yes. Perfect. Um, okay, so I know that there are a lot of, lot of questions. Um, I think probably the best thing to do is if we um, take those questions and take them away. We'll answer those questions as well. Um, the webinar is recorded, uh, so we will be able to share that uh, with, uh, with the audience, uh, as well as the answers to the questions that uh, people have written. Um, thank you very much for, of course, taking the time to ask those questions in the first place. Uh, we will get round to them, uh, I can assure you that. Um, but finally, what I wanted to uh, go through is um, also just a quick mention of the Connect event before we finish up. Um, so obviously the For Me Connect event takes place on the 30th, 31st and the 1st of June. Um, so uh, for our partners, um, the, the partner day is taking place on the 31st of May. Uh, and for our audience, if you are already a For Me customer uh, or a For Me partner, or you are new to For Me uh, and you don't know who we are, then of course, do feel free to join us on the 1st of June. Uh, it is taking place on the SS Rotterdam uh, as well. So if you'd like to meet us in person, including expertise and talk to them uh, about the JIRA integration and what future uh, plans they have, then of course you can meet us uh, at our Connect event uh, as well. So if you are interested, there is a QR code here for you to uh, scan with your phones. Um, and so you can visit the, the website uh, and kind of book your place if you are interested in this. Um, so again, thank you so much everyone for your comments. Uh, appreciate the compliments, of course. Um, and all the remaining questions that we have, we will get around to answering them. Um, so again, thank you so much for your patience. I hope you enjoyed this webinar and you learned, uh, learned a lot from it. And if you already use for me, uh, I hope you're excited to uh, you know, connect uh, to Jira and get using. Uh, but of course, by all means, if you have any questions further to, to what's already been uh, asked, then of course you can get in touch with expertise 
uh, we will share their contact details uh, as well. Or you can visit the Expertise website uh, yeah. and get in touch with them directly if you need to. But like I mentioned, we will get around to all the questions and get them answered, and we will share the recording of this webinar for you to come back to as well. So again, thank you so much, everyone, for joining, and I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks very much. And thank you guys uh, for, uh, for, for the live demo. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye now.